All right, boys and girls, and we're back with the estate find Arvin 440A radio uh, Ford Tuber. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started on this now. I've already taken the back off. There is a back. It just kind of comes off with a couple screws here, and I've already taken the back off the radio. There is no uh, tuned loop on this radio. It's strictly a wire. So as you can see here, that the cord has been cut off. So, uh, you know, it's like uh, buying a used car. You know, it's it's only uh, only listened to by an old lady on uh, Sundays listening to her mass. So anyway, we're gonna take it out and uh, see what we got, and we'll put put a cord on here. Okay, I've taken the time to wire up a properly polarized plug on here. I drill out a rivet so I can get this holder thingy that's holding the wire in place. So I've got the hot leg going to the switch because it's just a uh, hot chassis radio. And I've got the uh, got the uh, power supply Variac and Ami are all powered up and ready to go. So let's see uh, how this is going to work. That's, that's 60 volts right there. That's my current right there. Turn off the light, maybe to see if anything is glowing here. Ah, I'm seeing a glow. Ooh. All right, that's 70 volts. And that's what we got right now. stations through the hum. That's a good sign. So basically I have the antenna. The antenna is just a basic wire here and I have it clip leaded and going on to the coax for my outdoor antenna. This is looking pretty good so I think uh, maybe next we ought to change the filters. Alright. We've done the necessary capacitor surgery. We've got three new filter caps here. And I think I replaced, I forget how many, one, two, three, four, five couplers. So we should be ready to go. Give it another try and see, uh, see what it sounds like now. All right, boys and girls, let's take it for a test drive. Let's see what it looks like here. And uh, make sure the radio is on. Uh, start bringing up the voltage. Right. Oh. 30 volts, 50 volts, 60, 70. Let's leave it at 70 for now. Let's see what's going on. Ninety. Thought I just heard some static. What is going on? Interesting. It's 
quiet. Okay, shame on me. I found a bad solder joint. <laughs> that I did. Oh. But uh, just shows you that I'm human. I mean, you know, everybody out there is human. So, well, here's the story to radio. Right now, I've got on a local station. I have about, uh, oh, maybe slightly more than two feet of this fine antenna you see in front of you here. I've got two clip leads. And uh, as, as of the fact that it's a four tube radio, um, it has a tendency to suffer oh, below 800 KC unless you got some really close stations now. I'm on AM 660 out of New York. Uh, barely, excuse me, I'm barely getting it in. If I, well, Anthony, if you're silly, will join us from downstairs in just a little bit. And that's WOR. Just talking about what's going on. Yee, first of all, good to see you. You're working for that's, the That's coming in as gangbusters. What options I have? Okay, perfect. This is WABC at 770. That's AM 820 out of New York. So, because this radio is a four tuber and it is what it is, it requires a good antenna if you want to start picking up signals below, say, 800 KC. All right, that station right there, that's AM 570 WMCA. And turn this light out. And you can see that's kind of struggling too. I have the volume control all the way up. So the radio is working. I did, I did uh, shot a 455KC signal on this head and there's two trimmers on this IF can. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fine piece of antenna just to prove my point there's the case of the radio and over here I've got my outside antenna takes a lazy two lane roll inside the 41 and touched up there now you see the see the amazing difference in reception so, anyhow, so that's uh, okay. And uh, there's the pile of rubble that I replaced. Oh, it's the Army football game. All right, let me put this guy back in the uh, back in the uh, case. Okay, I've put the put the radio back together in its case, and. Before I did that, I just took a length of wire with a clip on one and about two foot long. So if someone wants to take this thing and hang it from somewhere or clip it onto another piece of wire to help improve reception, they can. Um, in the case of this radio, I'm going to just take this and I'm just going to go ahead and clip this on to the outside antenna. Do a little band, a little little New York band scan here. Feel the difference, and they'll come back for more. You get a bottle of vitamin D, a month supply of the complete formula, one you can't, and a month supply of fish oil. What do you got to lose, right? Right. What do you have? A jak będzie w Nowym Jorku, to zależy od władcy stanu Nowy Jork, bo to one będą to. Zero. And the New York Knicks need to get away from that. The Knicks have felt so much pain. 128 left as the clock stops. 16-yard pickup, Pacheco, 20 for 130. He said with people to help them relieve stress. Um, it was that's really helpful is to take the moment to deep breathe. Of the federal government in Addis Ababa. I know that you have described this simply as a law enforcement operation, but uh, to
to any objective observer, it has a to the Patriots. College football, good one in Piscataway. Rutgers and Illinois tied at 20 late. Number two Notre Dame trails Boston College 7-3 in the first. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't. If uh, you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Take care. Bye! The crisp kind of light with true lager flavor. That's the crisp refresher Valentine beer.